Hey boys and girls, welcome back to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Check Channel. I'm your host, Antoine Boom Boom Richardson, because today I got a lot of speakers to talk about, but I'm gonna try to make this as fast as possible because I have some speakers here that I need to bring into the conversation. But today we are actually trying to focus on this right here, the Bose SoundLink Max versus two Bose SoundLink Flexes. Now here's the story. $400, this is stupid expensive, man. For a little speaker like this, $400 is ridiculous, but I actually got it yesterday for $300. And in that regard, I say it's kind of worth it, right? So we have another speaker that it compares to, which is this, the JBL Extreme 3. Now, I don't know, can it focus, bro. There you go, the JBL Extreme 3. But then we also have the Soundcore Boom 2, which don't you know, which don't cost nowhere near that, you know what I'm saying? Because it's Soundcore. Soundcore's prices are disruptive in the marketplace. And this is the Soundcore X600, okay? That's what it actually compares to. And then there's a Sony offering, which would be the XG300 and maybe something else out there. So $300, I didn't feel bad about spending that. And the only reason I was even interested in it because I had absolutely zero interest in this speaker at first. The only reason I was even interested in spending my coins was because I bought this, the Bose SoundLink Flex. And I was so impressed by what Bose did with this speaker. I was like, all right, let me see what else y'all got because this sounds freaking good. So I end up you know, playing around with these and I was like, all right, let's try this out. When it comes to comparing it to other speakers such as the JBL Extreme 3, and the sound cord joints, I feel like that's been done on the internet already. I'm a little bit late to the party, so I don't really feel like making videos. If you think I should, let me know in the comments. I might, I'll, I'll consider it. But I will tell you my opinion really quick right now. When you compare the Bose SoundLink Max to something of the Soundcore X600, I'm gonna have to go with the Bose SoundLink Max. Yes, in my opinion, it suffers from low volume but the sound is smooth. It's nice and warm, a little bit too warm, <laughs> but it is nice and smooth. Whereas in the, in the Soundcore speaker, the X600, even though it's high res, the Soundcore signature, which is how I test all the speakers, by the way, uh, I test them on their default settings, right? And it comes default to Soundcore signature with bass up. And I feel like just the weirds a little bit off, the weirds, did I say weirds? Uh, the mids are a little bit off. And that's the same way I feel about the, um, the boom too, but it's not as bad as uh, this one right here. So if you're gonna compare it to the X600, I'm picking the Bose SoundLink Max all day. Now, if I compare it to the boom too, the boom too wins the bass category. It's freaking called the Soundcore Boom, the boom too for that matter. So in the bass category, yes, it does win. Uh, but as far as vocals and thing like, things like that, ooh, it's a tough one. I'm, I'm leaning toward the Bose SoundLink Max. Uh, just because everything is like, it's just so smooth. It's a smooth blend of musical sounds, you know what I'm saying? Whereas this focuses heavily on bass and everything sounds kind of separate. Like you got your bass and then you have highs and then the mids are kind of just, I don't want to say afterthought because it's not that. It's just, you know, I don't feel like they're placed just right. So I'm still going to go ahead and go with the Bose SoundLink Max. But if you do need louder and bass, good quality bass, the Boom 2 is where it's at. I love this freaking speaker. It's, you know, travel to the beach a lot, but I've digressed. Anyways, Bose SoundLink Max is winning uh, those two. Uh, but this is where it gets a little crazy because this speaker right here, the Extreme 4, this speaker is very polarizing, okay? Because a lot of people think the Extreme 3 is very overpriced and, you know, it's just an overhyped speaker. I, I think the, the the Extreme 4 is an overhyped speaker as well. Did I say, I don't know, I'm losing track of my mind here. Anyways, I still feel like it's overhyped and overpriced, but at $300, if you catch it on sale or something like that, I think it's a great buy. It's a solid speaker and it does a lot. You got that battery that you can replace in there and you know, it's just extreme, look at it. Now it depends on what you wanna do because like I said, the Bose SoundLink Max uh, suffers from a little bit of a lower volume problem, but I feel like in every category, the loudness, the bass, and the mids and highs, the balance and everything, I feel like the Extreme 4 actually beats out the Bose SoundLink Max. It is what it is. Um, yeah, and that's on a flat EQ. They both have three band EQs. I run them flat, right, like they come right out of the box. And in my opinion, I like the sound signature of the JBL Extreme 4 over the Bose SoundLink Max. 
But like I said, that's not the conversation we're having today. I just wanted to give you my opinion because I ain't doing no videos. This is what we're talking about today. If you got 300 bucks, because I caught it on sale, if you got 300 bucks, you can buy this and you're making a choice or these are brand new. So they're $150 a piece. And you're thinking, man, I could get two, right? And I can pair them up stereo. Now, before I go into all that stuff or the, the which one should you get, I got to remind you that this, when it first came out, you could only just play this by itself. It did not have the capability to link to other speakers at all. Uh, I just got an update that says, and I tried it, of course, you can link it to not only another one of these for stereo pairing to spend six or $400 or $800 on speakers like this is ridiculous, but you can do it if you want. Anyway, you could pair two of these up stereo or you could pair them up with a like-minded speaker such as the Bose uh, Soundlink Flex 2. And I did that. This sounds great. This combo, it sounds great. This brings in a little bit more bass, a little bit deeper bass, while this one actually, uh, bring, oh, Raylan's coming downstairs. I'm about to get interrupted. While this one, you know, fills in all the gaps. This sounds so freaking good, man. I'm, a, I'm in love with these little joints. Anyways, so here's the thing. You got $300, you gotta spend it, and you gotta spend it on Bose speakers. How do you do that? Do you buy one Bose Soundlink Max or two, because these are not on sale, these are $150 a piece, two Soundlink, uh, Soundlink Flexes? My personal opinion, Soundlink flex all day. Here's why. These, this suffers from low volume, like I said earlier, but you get a straightforward sound. It is room filling, but it's just, once you hear <laughs> two of these together, and I'll tell you what happened last night. My wife comes in, interrupting me as usual. I have this playing. She says, oh, babe, that sounds really good. What is that? I said, yeah, that's the new speaker I just went and bought. She says, it sounds really good. I said, all right, let me try, let me tell you this. So I paired both of these up together. And I put them side by side, just like this. I was just running them. Come on, upside down. I was just running them side by side. And she said, it sounds more airy, like it's everywhere. And I said, spacious? She said, yeah. She doesn't know the, the terms that we use on this channel. <laughs> so basically she's saying, this sounds more spacious, even side by side. And we're running them in stereo left and right. I said, okay. Then I played this again. She said, yeah, this is boomier, but this sounds better. You know, the vocals and the treble and the mid sound better with these side by side. I said, okay, fine. Fair enough. I played this one more time and she was starting to get annoyed. Like, why you keep playing that speaker? <laughs> I said, you got to hear this one more time. So what I did was I separated them. I put one on one side of the room and the other one on the opposite side of the room. And wow. It sounds so freaking good. You do not get as much bass as you do with this, but it's not by far. You know what I mean? You won't even miss it because the stereo sound turns into sur stereo surround sound when you separate these things on two different sides of the room. Ah, dude, my opinion, if you got $300 and you want to spend it on Bose speakers, this is the way to go. It's not even a contest in my opinion. It's not even a contest. And here's the, here's the truth. This doesn't have a speakerphone. These do. You can run both of these stereo if you want to in your house or while you're doing your thing outside or whatever. And then when you want to grab and go, maybe take it to the office or something like that, there's no problem just grabbing one, stashing it in your bag or taking it with you. And you've got freaking great sound. Like this thing sounds bigger than it is. It damn near sounds as big as this. Anyways, I wish Bose, uh, so the update, I wish they would do it like a party mode. So you can pair two speakers up together. It doesn't matter which two. You can do this two or two of these or two of these like I just discussed, but they will not let you pair more than two together. It'd be nice if I could pair all three of these. You know what I'm saying? Because if that was the case, I would actually take this back to the store and I get two, possibly even three more of these joints. And I would just have them laying in the room because it not only is a beautiful speaker, it literally fills up a large room. Like this living room right here, this has got to be at least two, 300 square feet that I'm sitting in. And I can just put it on this coffee table and just let it ride or put it up on the mantle right there and just let it ride, man. So I would get at least two or three more of these if they would let you party up. So Bose, if you listening, Let's party up, man. Let's party these things up. And you know, they don't have to be in stereo. Let's just party them up and get it done. Either way, you gotta hear this stuff for yourself. So I'm gonna leave you a sound sample at the end of the video. Y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.